back at Heathrow, and I swear it's only been three weeks since the trip to Chad. This time, heading off to Malawi with an entirely different bunch of people. I got here very early. My taxi driver <laughs> drove like the clappers. Whatever clappers are, he drove very fast. As I'm here, and I'm gonna wait for the rest of them. I'm going to Malawi. I haven't been with them before, but I've met the gang, and the gang are very cool. I'm looking forward to working with them. We're gonna fly to uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, first of all, get a connecting flight there, and then end up in Malawi sometime tomorrow afternoon, I think. This is something like my 20th flight <laughs> uh, so far this year, or something bonkers like that. And each time I come to an airport, the airports become progressively more tense uh, because of the coronavirus. So each time I'm in an airport, there are more face masks and more people scanning and checking you, more warnings up. So I'm assuming in a couple of months time, it's just gonna be like 28 days later. So part one of our trip is done. We've landed safely in Addis Ababa, a little Ethiopian layover. The gang has just had some coffee, some good Ethiopian coffee. We have an hour and then we're gonna catch another flight, this time straight to Malawi. So, safely landed in Malawi, because uh, I'm a dual citizen, I got a UK passport and a South African passport, I used my South African passport to get into Malawi, which means no hassles at all, no visas, no long queue, whereas um, the gang I'm with, uh, they all have British passports, so they need visas. So they are taking a lot longer. I mean, I've already, I mean, I've got my bag already, uh, so I'm good to go. And I've washed my hand with chlorinated water, and declared on a health form that I don't have a screamingly high fever, nor have I visited China in the past two weeks. So, gotta keep an eye on that coronavirus. But it's really nice to be in Malawi, and I'm excited. Now I just have to wait for everyone else to get through. sound of the wind and the waves behind me on Lake Malawi, but uh, we have made it safely to where we're staying. This is where we're going to be based, and then every day we're going to drive for about two hours each way up into neighboring villages to go and photograph and do video and, and uh, listen to people's stories and find out how they've been affected by everything from recent droughts to deforestation and climate change. I've come to our first little village we're visiting here in Malawi, and uh, I have picked up... Hey! Hey, there we go. Hey! That's what your average hard work MPP looks like. The life of copyright. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep that. And 
How do we feel the first day went? 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10? Mm. Strong. So, Apart from the bad ears. Yeah, you guys, you look a bit red faced, don't you? <laughs> Strong and stable. <laughs> Strong and stable. <laughs> 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 <laughs>